Thanking our veterans, recognizing our servicemen and women, honoring our fallen soldiers, making sure the families of those soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice know that their loss will not be forgotten. We will remember. We will remember their son, their daughter, their husband, their wife, their father, their mother. Furthermore, we will make sure those families are taken care of always. Particularly 2009 was a really rough year for Minnesota. We lost, I forget the number off the top of my head, 14, 15 military heroes. We lost them uh, six in two weeks. And as part of the Patriot Guard, we were there for every one of them. We met the airplane coming in with the, the transfer, uh, the, the dignified transfer to the family. Uh, we were there to escort them to the funeral homes. We were there for the escorts to the cemeteries. And I remember riding down the road that day and just crying my eyes out. I had to take my glasses off because they were steaming up from the tears, but it was just, it was encapsulating the entire year. And just the, the memory of those missions and all the days we spent and the families we met and just, you know, the, the deep sorrow, you know, for the loss of, of these young men and women. And it was really, that was one of the things that really stuck out my favorite moment was just seeing, of all of it, is seeing them recognize the mom because so many times our soldiers are not noticed. And to recognize the mom and know that the cause that I'm giving my heart to is such a worthy cause to a mom. They really did become a big part of our healing process, just being involved that way. And it was a way that we could continue to honor our son BJ um, by giving back that way. And I will say since then, so since we've been at the airport and doing those rides, um, I just the community support is just incredible. This is what the Patriot Ride represents. This is why we did it. This is why it meant so much to so many. Through the years, countless people have helped bring our community together to show their true patriotism. We thank you all, organizers, volunteers, riders, supporters, and so many more. The Patriot Ride has given us years of memories. The coolest thing that I and my wife both recognize and remember is the a level of support for the, for the Minnesota military families. Driving that route, uh, for the Patriot Ride, um, community members would come out with their lawn chairs and their picnic tables and their American flags. And it was amazing <laughs> seeing the, the flags, the, uh, the little kids uh, saluting as we went by. It's just it, heartwarming to see that. It's, it's absolutely amazing. We've shed tears of joy. We've shed tears of sadness we felt an overwhelming array of emotions. The Patriot Ride brought us together to celebrate those who keep us safe and free, to celebrate those men and women's families that stay behind, to celebrate America. As we say goodbye to the Patriot Ride this year, we want to thank everybody who has helped us celebrate and remember, you are true patriots. Since 2006, the Patriot Ride has helped raise money for military and law enforcement families across Minnesota. It has grown from 100 riders in 2006 to over 5,000 riders in 2019. From raising a couple of thousand dollars to a couple hundred thousand dollars. All in all, the Patriot Ride has raised over $3 million, benefiting the Minnesota Patriot Guard, Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund, and the Minnesota Chapter of Tribute to the Troops. But raise money uh, for those two organizations. They are so present today. They, they are going to be there for a long, long time to come. And they do wonderful things. Uh, and, and the Patriot Guard uses their money to support the families. Uh, that have lost someone in the tribute as a scholarship fund for children because different from my war where it was just young folks so many of these are national guard that, that are leaving families again this year for reasons out of our control we were preparing to say goodbye to the patriot ride this was to be our farewell year sadly mother nature had different plans 
Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the decision was made to cancel this year's ride. A truly difficult decision that left many of us grieving. But we've heard your voice. We felt it inside ourselves. This isn't right. We can't say goodbye like this. It was truly a, an honor to, to work with a group of people, especially people from Dennis Kirk. Uh, they put a lot of their time and heart and energy in it. And, and a lot of them did it, you know, um, spent a lot of their own time, you know, and, and so I know it meant a lot to a lot of people being a part of this 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 Patriot ride. And um, I'm gonna be sad to see it go. This this one was a really a labor of love, and I know it meant a lot to a lot of people. It certainly meant a lot to my wife and I being a part of the Patriot ride. And say, so here's one last chance for us to really do this thing upright, and how you do it, and what you can do to help. Still out there, we still need to do it. And we still have soldiers deployed. Um, continue to do America's work and, to, and to, do, to do great work for us, our state, and our nation. So a big thank you to them. A big thank you to all that have, have ridden in the past. And oh, by the way, job well done, but job not done. We got to get out here and do this last one upright. So appreciate your help. Look forward to your continued support this year. And let's do this one right. The Patriot Ride deserves a proper send-off. So, although it'll look a little different this year, the ride will live on for all of us to say goodbye in our own unique way. This year, you build your team, you pick your route, you ride, you embark on one last fundraising mission, and then we will all collectively say goodbye to an event that has meant so much to so many. Simply head to PatriotRide.org for details and to register your team.